Hi everyone, this is Nico from Site Giant. Today I'm going to show you how to set general setting of your Site Giant store. When you receive login credentials of your Site Giant store, the first thing you have to do is to configure general setting according to your preference to control how your store displays to visitors. Let's start off with general settings. Log in to your Site Giant admin panel, navigate to the settings. You will learn how to set up business info and store settings from this video. We will focus on business info first. So now click business info. You will see the store detail. Logo allows people to identify your Site Giant store and it displays on top of every page. Click browse button to upload your logo. Enter a store name that makes your customers to remember you. It displays at the footer with copyright. Page title and meta tag descriptions are used for SEO purpose. Do you know what is SEO? SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. It ranks your store based on the value of your content and relevance to users. Let me show you how it works. When consumers are looking for something, they will search from search engines such as Google. For example, I am a consumer and looking for baby product. You will see littlekids.com.my is listed first in the search result. Usually, consumer will click the results on the first page. Many merchants would try to rank higher so that they can earn the higher click-through rate. The content in the page title will display as the main title in the search result. Meta tag description will display at the link below. Think, what are the keywords user would search for your site giant store and insert them in page title and meta tag descriptions. Bear in mind that it takes a lot of consideration in order to rank higher, such as the traffic of your store, and how competitive of the keywords, and etc. Now let's move on to contact information. The information you enter here is about the contact us page which allows your customers to reach to you. You can insert store owner the same as store name. Email address will be the receiver of getting customer inquiry from as well as all the notifications such as new order, customer registration and etc. Enter your contact number and the address of your store locations. If you do not have a physical store, just insert the city you ship parcel from. Enable contact us if you want to display additional information such as operating hours and Google Maps of your store locations. The rest of the setting, I would suggest you to leave as default and click save. You can find contact us from the footer menu and this is how it looks. Let's move on to the store setting. Click the settings and choose store settings. I will cover the important settings which have the big impact. The rest of the setting you may remain as default. As long as your site giant store has been set up by us, it's live now. If you are not ready to publish your site giant store or accept any orders yet, enable maintenance mode. Your site giant store will be unavailable to all the visitors. Except for you who has logged in to admin panel, you are able to see the actual store. Currency switcher appears on top of your site giant store to make your customers easier to change to foreign currencies. If you only target Malaysia market, disable it. Let's scroll down to the product section. Default items per page catalog is to control the number of items to display per page on your site giant store. You may leave it with 15 items per page or increase a little bit because the more products you display, it will slow down the loading speed and also more bandwidth will be consumed. Suggest you to remain auto-complete product search enable for simplified product title. If some of your product names are long, some are short, I will suggest you to enable it to align your products and present them professionally to your customers. Scroll down to the checkout section. Invoice number is generated automatically when the order is paid. Invoice prefix is the prefix defined before the invoice number. You may define it with a year or your company name. If you use year, remember to change it every year. Invoice running number size is the number of digits to run after invoice prefix. If you set 5, 
there will be five running number digits and the new invoice number starts with 00001. Guest checkout allows your customers to place an order like a guest without registration on your site joining store. It speeds up the checkout process but the customer profile is not stored in the database. If you want to record every single customer profile, disable it. Suggest you to remain pop-up card display and simplified checkout status enable. Display store is to show the store quantity on your site joining store. Remain it disabled if you do not want your customers to know the available stuff you have. After you configure the settings, click save to apply the changes. Thanks for watching this. I hope you have set up general settings in your site joining store. If you have any questions, you can find the answer at support.sitegiant.my or you can contact us at support.sitegiant.my. Bye and see you!